you're here for the first time, also in the video description, there are links for GitHub repository where, where you can try the source code by yourself. And there you also find the links for community support and all reference we are using through the course. Please, if you find this useful, share with other devs and also tick the bell to receive notifications about new modules. If you have any question, please reach out in the Discord server and or you can also ask in the Stack Overflow. Uh, you're probably familiar if you come from another programming language with map functions and map functions use is are just functors but let let's let's try to understand deeply what this means so here's a value we have this value and this value is true i hope it's big enough to you see this number, num this number two there. What if we apply this two value in some function? So we could, for example, apply this two value in in the function plus three, and because of curing, when we add plus three here, we're gonna have a function that adds three. So we add three to two, and then it returns five. So far, so good. So this is the code of that example in picture. We log the, the conversion to string of the return of this plus three function applied to the value. So it gives us five. So far, so good. But what happens if we have this value in a data type in a contextful uh, scenario? Because when I say context, I mean, there are more information beyond just the number when we have a data type. And this information is the data constructor, the data type of constructor, the type constructor. So in case of maybe, for example, we have just type constructor. We, and we have also the nothing type constructor. We have both, right? So if you have this value inside of a maybe, for example, we call this maybe context. So in this example, we have just two and this two is inside of this context okay or this box in this picture but there is information there floating around the two number okay and here we have the context so we can really see what is the context so as you can see we have the maybe and the maybe are like the boxes, right? So we have a box that stores some actual value E, and we have another box that stores nothing, just voidness and emptiness. So nothing inside of it. So we call just and nothing of the maybe, we call those guys context because they give us in more information beyond just the number. They, they tell us if the value is there or not, or, not on, or, or if there's nothing there, you know? if there is an actual value or nothing. So this is the, the type, the, the, the maybe type we are using to. So this is the maybe type, and we have the constructor nothing and just nothing new here. What if we try to apply that function plus three in that value, in, that, in this maybe value? There is a problem because the value is wrapped in the context inside of this just type constructor. So there is no way to apply this plus three to that contextful value. You can't really do that because you need to first remove the number for the data type to then apply to this this function. So here we have the maybe with some value. So you can see the, the value being like a, a contextful tool. So 
it has the just contact constructor beyond the number two. And let's try to figure out how we could do that for a moment. So here's the plus three function. So it basically is taking the number as three. Okay. And look at that. It takes the number. So it does it don't really care about the number. We don't have a, an argument for that. But because of Kiri, this function will add three to whatever we pass here, okay? In this function. And I have used the magic function. So create, let's let's say that we're gonna create this magic function. That's gonna do some magic to to solve this. So remember we need to to apply this plus three to a box and two. Okay. And as we know the value here is the box set value. So we have this value here. And we need to apply this plus three function to this value through some magic function. And the expected output that of that would be like five because we are adding two plus three, right? So because we are adding two plus three, we expect the the the, the resolution of this, <laughs> the result of the magic to be something like five. Okay. So how would be the type signature of this magic function? Look at look that way. So here's the type signature of this given magic. And you can see the first argument is this plus three function. So it whatever we pass here, it takes that. Okay. And I'm saying I'm 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 saying this thing is E. So we're gonna define that as E. And it should return some B. I'm calling this return of this plus three. I'm calling this as B. So this function is doing that, right? So this function takes whatever gonna pass here. And should return this e added with that three value here. So uh, in the end, we expect to the return from this magic function, like in the end of that, right here, to be five. Right, because this is the result from summing three with two. What else we are passing to this magic function? As second argument, we are passing the value. And this value is a box set value. So we need to pass the type like that. So it's a maybe. And it has inside of the maybe here, the same value we are passing to the add function, right? Because we expect the magic to work that way. So this magic function should uh, take this two here, which is this E and call plus three somewhere somehow and add this two to three and return five here and we expect this returning value to be returned here as five so this is the type signature of our magic a prototype of our magic function right so here's a more complex so we have the data type here so i'm showing that we have the nothing and the just I have assigned the value here, so we have this new value here, which is the return, right, from this uh, given magic function that now I'm calling map, map. So here we are, here, here is the map. We expect that this new value, it would have the five value, but let's change something. We expect the new value to be just five. Uh, because if we're giving a box set type, why not get this box set type instead of just the value? We could, uh, like, we will worry about how to extract this value from the, the box set value later because we don't really need the, the only the value. In this case, we just need to apply this value to this plus three. Okay, it's, it's okay to just have the box set value here for our use case okay so we can have just five uh as ensure for this uh for this problem so our previous magic function turned out to be this guy now so it's it receives the same function a to b 
it receives the value as a second argument and it's a box set value contextual value and it returns the the another box set value with the number five so how to implement this magic function you can be asking yourself now how how that how that how that's possible how how i can move a value from inside of the 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 box set type here from the maybe to the given function so the function can be used like that how that's possible how is the implementation of this map function let's take a look before we do that let me show you something else you cannot see something here why we are not using the same if for everything here if everything is int like in our previous example we just have used it inch so it could be like everything could be the same so everything could be e, e here e here e here, e here because why we have used a different type here and there's a reason for that because that way we can have this also this solution so beyond to return in this function here the same type with this type signature we can return different types so values from different types so it means that we can transform the type of the value inside of that box box set value and that's really useful for many things so in this case i'm showing you that i'm i replaced the plus three function and i'm showing you that i'm transforming this given number to a string with the show function and we are pretty familiar with that uh, right now probably I'm transforming this to, this to a string and I'm append this string to the string 5. So now instead of just sum, summing 5 and 2, we have 25 as a string. So we have a, a maybe string as return now and not a maybe inch. This is pretty nice and allows many things to happen. So that's the reason we could have the same type. There's no problem with that, but being different like that allow us to do this kind of casting, <laughs> to say something like that. We can uh, chain chain the return from 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 some box set values like maybe. Let's move move on. So this is the so to to have the map. We the only way to have that. Uh, in Haskell at least, as far as I know, is using a functor. Let's let's start from here. So we have the main function like before, and we are logging the new value to show you how to use map with a plus three function. And we have the show new value string, which was the second case to show you that change the int value and return 25 instead of just five as a string. So let's see the output of this function here. So here we have the first log is just five and the second log is just 25 as string. So let's let's take a look on how this is implemented. Here we have the, the type class. So I have created this type class called functor to define this functor behavior. And for a given f, we have the map function type signature right here. The same thing we saw before. I just have added this f right here to represent the maybe. Remember the maybe? Like here. You can see there are two guys here. There's this maybe and there's the internal value of the maybe. There are two types. So one is the maybe and another one is the internal value, the internal type inside of that maybe right so in this case here we have the f representing the, the maybe and we have something inside of that that should be the same the value being passed here and we have the b which should be the value being returned and again this value is being wrapped in the same f which represents the maybe so of course if there is a class that should be an instance so we have the instance functor from maybe and here's the secret. So how this works, we just use parameter, and we have the first uh, parameter 
uh, against a value being passed as nothing in the second argument of the map. So if if the value we are passing here in this map is a nothing, we just return nothing because because if nothing goes in, nothing goes out. You know, we don't need to apply anything. We don't need to apply this function to do anything with nothing because uh, nothing is nothing is so. <laughs> It, it's meaningful, mean, meaningful list. Does not make sense to apply a function to this nothing. You could do that, but it does not make sense. Uh, so because nothing is nothing, uh, we don't need to apply that. So we skip the function application and return that nothing. Nothing is here. And But in the second case, so if we have just in the right side of this map function, so the value here we have just in this case right so we parameting against the type constructor of that just to extract the internal value which is this x with that x we build a new value because remember that we need to return this fb and this f is the maybe so because we need to return the 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 value inside of a new box we build this new box and the content of that box should be the return from this function here being applied to this extract, extracted value x. So we apply the, the fn here, which is stands for this function here, a to b, to the e value from the second argument here, because we did the parameter here. So we can extract that value using parameter, basically. So we parameter use the type constructor to extract the value, apply that to the given function, this return a b value, and we take this b and build a new box with the just type constructor representing this fb. And that's it, that's the way that we implement the map function using a type class. And of course, this is an example in pure script. In pure script, the map function is the functor, <laughs> the default functor for everything. Uh, in Haskell, they use fmap. So be aware right of that. They use fmap instead of map. Just naming difference. The type class is the same. So the only difference is the function name. The member here in the in case of pure script is map. If you have any questions, if you if you're struggling to understanding how Functor works, it, this post here might help you. I have actually used pictures from there. It's pretty pretty clear how this stuff works. And there is a picture there explaining each step uh, of this application here using the, ma the map. So you can re see in pictures how this map uh, wraps the value of the maybe applied to the function and return that in the new box. It's pretty clear here. And that's it. That that's ends our functor. <laughs>